Healthy Dental, a place that promises a perfect smile makeover for adults and kids. Good afternoon to the Pilipu TV and channel and viewers. Today we have uh, with us uh, Jennifer Wexton. She's the Democratic candidate who's going to stand in the elections in the coming uh, November 6th elections from the 10th district uh, in VA. And uh, we have, uh, you know, on the honor of her uh, visit to the Batkama event celebrated by the Telangana Development Forum. And uh, if uh, let me introduce uh, Jennifer Wexton to the crowd. So, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, and uh, it's a real honor to have you here. And uh, we are really looking forward to your participation in this uh, vibrant event. We celebrate this every year mm -hmm. with so with all this fervor, and there's a lot of planning going on into this oh, yes. event. And uh, you know, the folks from uh, the Telugu folks from this area are uh, you know they put their heart and soul into celebrating this event. So it's really an honor to have you here. It's an honor to be invited. It's absolutely astounding what you guys have managed to accomplish and to to transform this whole school into a Telugu festival. Thank you so much. And. Uh, I believe uh, you know, for the upcoming elections, you're also we're working very hard, probably double uh, the efforts that were into what we have put into this event. Of course, you know it's a very challenging election coming up. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Could you give us uh, something about your background and uh, what you do for the 10th district? Absolutely. Um, I am a, a mom from the district. I'm a former prosecutor and I'm a current state senator. Uh, in the state senate my focus has been on helping families and children and that's what I hope to do in in Congress. Um, I'm Democratic nominee for Congress in Virginia's 10th district. I'm running along with Tim Kaine on the Democratic t ticket November 6th. Um, I'm really concerned about issues that help families and, and kids in this district. So things like making sure everybody has access to affordable quality health care. And certainly for this community, I know the immigration issues are a big, big part of uh, concerns. What's going on at the federal level is very concerning to me that the Trump administration is cutting down on legal immigration. Uh, we need to make sure that we continue family reunification and that people who have been here on a visa status are able to get their uh, legal permanent resident, that their green card, and then move on to become citizens more quickly. Uh, there's huge backlogs. Wait, people have been waiting sometimes 10 years and more just to get their green cards, and that shouldn't be. And uh, Jennifer, I would also like to ask you about your stand on uh, the transportation in the Virginia, uh, you know, the North Virginia, especially people are faced with a lot of challenges, you know, trying to commute to work. So what is your stand on this? Absolutely. I've been a part of finding transportation solutions during my time in the state Senate. Um, my opponent, on the other hand, has falsified my record and, and said that I, I support tolls. I have opposed those entirely throughout my uh, time in the, in the General Assembly. We need to make sure that the metro is strong and vibrant and that we have public transportation options as well as multimodal transportation. Um, you know, sadly, our government hasn't been willing to make the investments that are necessary to really find transportation solutions. And as a result, people spend too much time sitting in traffic every day. I have one more question for you. So this is, uh, you're attending a women's event. This is like a women's empowerment. This is, this is where we're celebrating women. So what message do you have for women and what would you do to elevate our uh, uh, you know, status in the society? What would you do for us? Absolutely. Um, well, one of the reasons that I ran for office was because I didn't see very many women out there uh, in elected office, you know, working on the issues that were important to us. So I think it's important that we have a voice not just at the ballot box, but also in elected office. So I will work every day to make sure that women have equal opportunity, equal pay, and that we have um, things, policies that work for, for the whole family. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. One last question, if you don't mind. Sure. So, um, the, what is the, your stance on education? This is a very important to the Indian community here. Absolutely. I'm entirely a product of public education. I think it's extremely important that we make our public schools as strong as they can possibly be. I'm actually the mom of two kids who are in Loudoun County Public Schools. Mm -hmm. I think we also need to make sure that we train our kids for the jobs of today and of the future, and that we focus on things like STEM education and career and technical education that will result in good paying jobs when they are when they graduate and also making sure that college is affordable 
uh, because right now it can often be very, very expensive and that really puts a damper on kids' opportunities when they graduate from college. Thank you so much. And uh, do you have any message for the Indian community now that you're here? Just thank you for inviting me. This is fantastic. I love what the Indian community has brought to the Northern Virginia community, and I always feel so welcome. Thank you so much.